Hello YouTube, this is Trudel. Minecraft farms in 3 minutes, part 27. And behind me is a little moss farm that I rigged up. I don't really need a lot of bone meal, because of course we have our universal mob farm that generates quite a lot of bones. We also have the wither skeleton farm that produces bones. But what I do need is a bit of moss, because I use mossy carpets to cover light sources, or just use a few mo moss blocks as decorative blocks. If I want small quantities, I can just stand here and wait for the moss to be flushed into my inventory. Or of course, I could replace these composters. At the moment, all of the moss is flushed into these composters. I could replace these and either filter out the stuff or just put some chests there and collect the moss. The farm is inspired by a Mango's moss farm, but the stone generators are much easier and not as much as timing dependent. As you can see, we have two stone generators, one on top, one at the bottom. We have sticky pistons to pull out the stone under the lava. Now you can't really see it well on the side because there is a rather small chance that mods generates on the outside. But basically we, we alternate the stone generators either at the bottom or at the top. We pull out the block under the lava, push it down or in this case push it up. The output of both stone generators is merged. The stone is pushed over here. And below the farm we have a dispenser and a moss block. The dispenser bone meals the moss block and part of the stone on top is converted to moss. Of course we need a piston because there has to be air on the moss block so any carpets or azalea leaves have to be destroyed. A bit of the moss glitches through so we could collect these using hoppers if we wanted but this is not a lot so it's not a problem for me. And here on the side we have just a little clock controlling our stone generators and a pulse divider and basically for every four blocks that we push in we will once fire the dispenser. This usually means that not all of the moss was replaced by stone but it turned out that if we fire the dispenser not as often the rates will drop. Right now as it is the farm generates roughly a shulker box of bone meal per hour between 1600 and 1700 bone meal and of course a huge amount of moss if I switch the generation to moss. This farm is really easy to build and it perfectly fits my needs. Of course you could mirror it, you could use all the stuff here and add it on the other side. So you could basically mirror all the stone generation and add it on the other side and you could also build several modules. Since I mostly use it to get a bit of moss and a few azalea leaves, this farm is perfect for me. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed the episode and see you next time. Bye bye!